Hello, good morning viewers. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to construct a graph of rational function. You know, a rational function is a function that appears in the form of numerator over the denominator. Example is 1 over x or even x divided by x squared minus 1. All of these are rational functions. And these rational functions can appear in different form. This is why I want to conduct like four tutorials in order to cover most of them. All right, here are some important points you should know before constructing any rational function. The first one is finding the asymptotes of a function. An asymptote of a rational function is that line, a region or a boundary where the curve will never cross or touch, but it can go closer and closer to that point. Secondly, we need to construct these asymptotes using a dotted line. Also, we need to find x and y intercepts. You know, x intercept is that value of x when y equal to 0. y intercept is also a value of y when x equal to 0. And we need to find the values of y for several values of x. And we call them points on the graph. And finally, construct the graph. We are also going to learn how to find the domain and range of a rational function. Alright, in this tutorial I have only two problems for you. One divided by x and also one divided by x squared. Let us start with one divided by x. Alright, for one divided by x which is our function, we need to find four things. We have the vertical asymptote and horizontal asymptote. We also need to find x and y intercept then plot some points, then construct the graph. All right, let's start with vertical asymptote. To find the vertical asymptote, all we have to do is to set the denominator equal to zero. Our denominator is x. Therefore, x equal to zero is said to be our vertical asymptote. So we have x equal to zero. Then for the horizontal asymptote, we are going to evaluate our function as the limit of x approaches infinity. So as the limit of x approaches infinity of this function 1 over x, this will approach 0 directly. Therefore, we say that y equal to 0. But the simplest way to find the horizontal asymptote is considering the degree of numerator and denominator. If the degree of the denominator is higher than that of the numerator, y will always be equal to 0. Alright, what about x-intercept? If we set y equal to 0, remember this is y equal to 1 over x, 0 equal to 1 over x, this is not possible because the numerator contains only a constant. Therefore, this function has no x-intercept. Then for the y-intercept, if y equal to 1 over x, we are going to set x to be equal to 0. We have 1 divided by 0. This is undefined. Therefore, we say we do not have y-intercept as well. Now, let us go ahead and construct the graph. This is y-axis. And this is x-axis. Okay, for the vertical asymptote, it is at x equal to 0, which is directly on y-axis. So it means our curve will never touch y-axis. Horizontal asymptote is at y equal to 0, exactly on x-axis. So our curve will either be like this, like this, like this or like this but we don't know but let us test some points remember this is one two three so this is 0 0.5 if x is 0 0.5 1 divided by 0 0.5 is the same thing as 2 and this is 2 so we have a point here and when x equal to 1, we have from our function 1 divided by 1 equal to 1. Therefore, when x equal to 1, y equal to 1. So we have a point here. When x equal to 2, you can see 2 here. We have 1 divided by 2, which is half. 
so we have a point here no matter what value of x you substitute in this function the value of y will never be equal to zero but it can go closer and closer to zero therefore our graph will look like this like this but it will never touch y and x axis okay let us test some negative numbers we have negative one negative two negative three if x is negative 0 0.5 which is between 0 to negative 1 1 divided by negative 0 0.5 will give us negative 2 so we have negative 2 here this is negative 2 when x equal to negative 1 we have 1 divided by negative 1 which is negative 1 so we have negative 1 comma negative 1 somewhere here and let us choose when x equal to negative 2 we have 1 divided by negative 2, it will give us negative 0 0.5, somewhere here. So our graph will look like this. It will never touch x-axis, no y-axis. So this is the graph of 1 divided by x, and I promise to show you how to obtain the domain and range. Domain are all the possible values of x. So you can see from the left of the graph, we have negative infinity down to zero, excluding zero, then up to positive infinity. So for the domain, let me use interval notation. It is from negative infinity down to zero, excluding zero, union from zero down to positive infinity then for the range you they keep on going up to negative infinity to zero as well then up to positive infinity so the range and domain are exactly the same so this is all about a function one divided by x now let us consider one divided by x squared so our second problem, if we have a function equal to 1 divided by x squared, let's start by finding the vertical asymptote. And remember, we can do that by setting the denominator equal to 0. If x squared equal to 0, this implies that x equal to 0. Therefore, our vertical asymptote is at x equal to 0. Then for the horizontal, our function is bottom heavy because you can see the degree here is 2. Likewise, we have 0 here. So y equal to 0. This function does not contain y-intercept, no x-intercept. For x-intercept is the value of x when y equal to 0. From here, you can see that this cannot be equal to 0. Therefore, we have none. And for y-intercept, is also known because we cannot set x to be equal to 0. Now let us go ahead and construct the graph. All right. Our vertical asymptote is at x equal to 0. So our graph will not touch this axis. For horizontal asymptote, is at y equal to 0 on x-axis. You should observe that our function is 1 divided by x squared. This implies that no matter what value of x you plug in here, it will never give us a negative result. Therefore, our graph will be here and here respectively. Let's assume our x equal to 0 0.5, somewhere here between 0 to 1. From our function, we will have 1 divided by 0 0.5 squared. And this will give us 4. So when x equal to 0 0.5, we have y equal to 4, which is going to be somewhere here. Then when x equal to 1, we have 1 squared is 1. 1 divided by 1 is 1. So we have a point right here. And when x equal to 2, somewhere here, 
we have 1 divided by 2 squared, which is equal to 1 divided by 4. And 1 divided by 4 is 0 0.25, somewhere here. All right, let me construct this graph. But it will never cross x-axis. When we have our x to be negative 0 0.5, somewhere here, Remember 0 0.5 squared is 0 0.25. 1 divided by 0 0.25 is going to be equal to 4. So it is going to be somewhere here. It is going to be symmetrical about origin. So whatever point we have here will reflect this one. Somehow like this. All right. So this is just a graph of 1 divided by x squared. Let us obtain the domain and range. For the values of x, they are going to be from negative infinity down to zero, then to positive infinity. For domain, we have negative infinity to zero, union zero to positive infinity. And for the range, you can see y does not contain any negative value it started from zero to positive infinity excluding zero therefore our range will be from zero to positive infinity and this is all i have for you in this tutorial thank you for watching do share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for more exciting videos bye bye